So, you know, every parent gets nervous when their teen starts driving. I know my mom did. It's a constant worry about them making it home safely and not harming anyone else on the road. But nothing could prepare a parent for what a teen did behind the wheel in Ohio. 19-year-old Mackenzie Sharilla is being called hell on wheels. She's accused of driving her car at 100 miles an hour into a brick building to intentionally kill her boyfriend. 20-year-old Dominic Russo and his friend, 19-year-old Davian Flanagan, those are the names of the, the, the two boys there. Surveillance video caught the terrifying moment on video. Uh, we have to warn you, obviously, this is very disturbing. It's just horrific. It sounds almost like a missile going down the street. The crash happened around 5.30 in the morning on July 31st, uh, 2022. When police arrived, they found the car with severe damage and full airbag deployments. Russo and Flanagan were dead on the scene, but Chirilla somehow survived. Uh, Chirilla's trial in, in this uh, area where this happened, it's, it's uh, Cuyacoga County. Chirilla claimed the crash was accidental, but evidence showed that the accelerator pedal was being pushed down at 100% capacity, and prosecutors say Sharilla may have planned a murder-suicide. There were videos showing she threatened Rousseau, and her own phone showed uh, that she visited the site of the crash a few days prior. And at that trial, Sharilla sobbed as the judge read the verdict. Mackenzie decided death was the ultimate goal that day. And she alone made that decision for Dominic and Damian. She morphs from a responsible driver to literal hell on wheels. Her actions were controlled, methodical, deliberate, intentional, and purposeful. This was not reckless driving. This was murder. Mackenzie Sharilla, who you see there, she was found guilty on all 12 counts, four of murder, four of felonious assault, two of aggravated vehicular homicide, one of drug possession, and one of possessing criminal tools, she will face her sentencing on Monday. And I want to bring in the prosecuting attorneys on this case, Allison McGrath and Tim, Tim Trout, uh, who both uh, got this conviction. Thank you for being with us tonight. Tim, I want to start with you. I mean, this is really a brutal case. I mean, you think about that crash, um, it, it's, it's hard to wrap your mind around. How, how were you able to prove that she did it intentionally? Uh, so I think it started with the video evidence that we had. We had a video of the actual impact of the crash. We had a video about 59 seconds before that, uh, the impact video that you're showing that showed the defendant driving in a slow and controlled manner using her turn signal. And then there's another video about a quarter of a mile away from the crash uh, at that point, she was already going 98 miles per hour. She had uh, made up her mind and was was on a course that she never turned back from. Allison, were you all able to uncover anything to determine whether she had been planning this out ahead of time? So we had um, played some audio um, evidence that we had received from the victim, uh, Dominic Russo's family that involved a cell phone that Dominic had used um, a week or two prior before this incident to record um, a very heated, tumultuous argument between himself and Mackenzie. Um, these recordings were left on the cell phone, we believe, um, and recorded by Dominic. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.